Many of my brothers in arms have thoughts about this question. Okay. Will God forgive us for the lives that we ended directly or indirectly during our service in the military? There you go. Welcome to Ask Me Anything. Well, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Over the course of my ministry, I've known several people who have served in the armed forces, several families. This question is quite common um, because in the line of serving our country, some, some people are put in some really difficult places where extraordinary acts of violence happen. And usually, biblically, uh, at the root of that question is, is about a question about the commandment, thou shalt not kill. Does that, does that apply here? And I guess I would answer that two ways. One is Israel, as in the country of, nation of, traditionally interpreted the commandment not to kill as, as a private, not public command, meaning that Israel had an army. The nation of Israel had an army and viewed it as completely congruent with their understanding of the old, our, our Old Testament scriptures. And so Israel never interpreted that command in that way. So, am I committing a sin by serving in the armed forces of my country? I think the biblical answer would be no, no. However, in the history of the church and in the Christian church, there are people who have disagreed with that. And you have certain strains of Christianity. I guess uh, the Mennonites come to mind. I would would think the Moravians, uh, who are pacifists and, and take a different view of that command to say, when thou shalt not kill means thou shalt not kill. Uh, so that's something the church has debated, but I'd say by and large, most of the church has said that, you know, nations having army and Christians serving in them, we see as, as, as okay within the church. The deeper question, I think, in, this, in a question like this is about the nature of forgiveness. Anytime anybody asks me any question about anything they've done, okay, think about that. Anytime anybody asks me any question about anything that they have done, that they feel is sinful, or in some cases just blatantly is, and they say, can I be forgiven? The answer is yes. That's what that cross means. The for, for our forgiveness through Christ is big enough, it's deep enough. Uh, the love of God that God has for us through Christ is so complete uh, in every way that when we say things like we wipe the slate clean, Uh, when we are forgiven of our sins? Uh, The answer is yes. Can I be? Will God forgive us for the lives that we ended? The answer is yes. And so another, another, I guess, question that I would just encourage for somebody asking a a question like this is to say, "This this is a time to really explore what you think forgiveness means. And just prayerfully have that conversation with God, um, with those closest to you, uh, with your Sunday school class, with your small group, because forgiveness is that complete. And uh, I I might add to that, I think um, it's it's a bit of a trite expression, but as a pastor, I've I've seen it uh, just time and time again. The most, one of the most difficult people you'll ever forgive is you, yourself, for the things that, that have happened, for the things that you've done, for the places you've been. And, and when I think of people like our soldiers, when I, uh, our police officers, th- these folks are our first responders of all kinds. These folks are put in such difficult positions where they have to make decisions or execute orders that they may not thoroughly agree with or understand, yet they are called to respond. And of course, they are trained to do that, but I tell you what, when you think about the circumstances they are in and, they, and, and, and the decisions they have to make and the force that is at their disposal as well as who they are fighting against, uh, what these folks do is amazing. They deserve our prayers daily, um, by all means. But, uh, you know, our soldiers, in this case, uh, our military, uh, will God forgive? Yes. Uh, I, you know, I don't know that we can say that, um, you know, just because I'm engaged in an act of violence as a soldier, is that a sin? I would say no. And, the, and the, the, our, our, there will be exceptions to that, of course, but I would say no. Um, and I don't think the majority of the church or the, the witness on, the, on that commandment has been to interpret um, the thou shalt now kill commandment in that way. 
Um, I guess with that, I'll bring that question to a landing. I'm praying these get a little easier. Uh, that, was, that was a very, a very strong beginning, shall we say, to ask me anything. I, I will say this too, but I have been, you know, over the years for, for folks who have served in the military, um, I have found these people to be some of the most amazing people I have ever met, just as far as understanding the connection between faith and courage. Uh, I have seen uh, many instances of youth uh, who were really, really struggling, who went into the armed forces, and that kid comes back to church, and that kid's a new kid in a really great way. Um, so it's, I know that there's a question like this is about things that may have happened that are negative and serving in that way, but I have seen such, I've seen God use uh, people who choose to serve our country in that way in their lives in a very powerful way too. And I would be amiss at this, not uh, saying that at this opportunity.